choose a look for myself. You guys already know this is me. This is literally me. My name is Amanda and here we are playing Pokemon Scarlet. That's right. I am so excited. Typical side braid. I thought this had been. Wow, these uh, haircuts are quite interesting. I just want long hair, please. I think we're going to do the ponytail. Yeah, because you know me, I'm a boring ass bitch. Yes, I am. Here's my pony. Here we go. And I think, I mean, I'm sure that they, they have like other options as you get further in the game. So anyway, uh, here we are playing Pokemon. I'm so excited. And I just want to shout out my one of my besties, one of my favorite people in the Animal Crossing slash cozy game community, Katie on Cala Cove. Thank you, bestie, for gifting me this game. That was so sweet. There she is. I think that's her. I think that's her. Is my eye eyelashes too clumpy? Are those clumpy? Those are a little clumpy, right? Are those clumpy? Now I'm like overthinking this. I really am. I just don't want it to seem clumpy. Okay, so we're going to like Pokemon school. Is that it? We're going to a Pokemon Academy. Amazing. Amazing. This has always been my dream to go to Pokemon school. Is that what this game is about? Pokemon school? Y'all need to um, put in the comments right now, take a guess as to which starter I'm gonna pick. I already know. Um, oh my God, Pokemon school. Look at Pokemon school. I'm so excited. It's time for you too to dive into the world of Pokemon. Hell yeah. This is all I want. This is all I've ever wanted since Pokemon fucking came out. This is all I want in life. Director Clavel, head of Naranja Academy. Paldia is a sprawling region bustling with lush nature and magnificent landscapes. Fuck yeah. Oh, I can't wait to dive in. It is also, of course, home to the mysterious creatures known to us as Pokemon. They reside here in great numbers, in fact. Hell yeah. That's what I like to hear. We humans coexist with Pokemon as we both help one another to live and thrive. That's right. Yeah. Okay. So this is just like an introduction to Pokemon school. Look at that black Taurus. Oh my God. I love the black Taurus. He's beautiful. He's so pretty. He's like melanistic, which is the color, like, which is the term for like, um, when an animal has more melanin and so they become like black. It's really cool. Oh my God. There's my lizard bike. Part of the reason that I picked Scarlet is because the um, the red one with the feathers on his head is so cute. They're both really cute, but I just love the feathers one. Wow, how cool is this? This is gonna be so cool. An EV perfect, as long as it's got Jolteon. There's a bunch of just flamingos, straight up flamingos. I am so excited. Please, please, please fucking hurry up, honestly. I saw a tweet today and it was like the first hour who tweeted this? The first hour of a Pokemon game is like is like hell, kind of. It's like so grueling. And I kind of like agree. What are these? What are these little fucks? I love them, these little parrots. It's so, so hard, like the first hour, because you just gotta like fucking get established and grind. You have to grind, honestly, to even do anything or like go anywhere or be anyone. You know I do. You know I do. There's me. There's me in my little room getting ready for Pokemon school. Yay. Oh my gosh. I love when cutscenes are so seamless. That shit is amazing. <gasps> She's so cute. It's not time to get ready yet. Well, what is it time for? Where's what outfits do I have? What am I doing? What am I supposed to be doing? Hello? Oh my god, how cute. It's a Squobit plush made with care using nice soft material. Cool. What's going on? Okay. Oh, there's... Where are you going, little buddy? Is this like our family Pokemon? Look at this guy. He's like our family Squobit, our family Pokemon. Ooh, nice kitchen. Is that my mommy? Hi, mom. Hi, mama. Aw, she looks like my mom. She looks like my real life mom. Good morning, Amanda. Hi, mom. Can I go to Pokemon school? Oh, already in your uniform and everything. That looks like my mom. Well, it is your first day of Pokemon school after all. I'm so excited for you. Still, you might want to cool your engines before you go racing out the door. I don't think so, mom. You know that I've always wanted to go to Pokemon school. The school contacted me and said that you're supposed to wait here a little longer. Am I in trouble? Their words, not mine. I'm in trouble. I didn't even do anything. Apparently, there's something very important for your first day that still hasn't arrived yet. Ding dong, I'm in trouble. I'm already in trouble. Great. 
Maybe that's the very thing we're waiting for. Amanda, get the door, would you? Yeah, but I just feel like I'm in trouble. Where's the door? Like this, is this the door? Why can't I run? Can I run? I'm like so excited for Pokemon school. Why can't I run? Oh, look. Oh my God, a little substitute plush up there. I want it, please. I have that in real life. Can I take that? Can I take it with me? How do I jump? How do I jump and get the little substitute? Can I have that? Can I have him? Please give me that substitute plush. That's all I want to remember my mom by. It's a storage room okay what door am i this is a gorgeous house we're like loaded huh we're pretty rich oh it's like right there damn nice amanda wait this leads out to the, towards the vegetable garden better use the front door damn how rich are we how many doors do we fucking have god damn this what's it like living in a mansion ladies damn oh my god a man is walking into our house mom help do you forgive the intrusion no I don't think I will. You are Miss Amanda, yes, yeah. On behalf of the Academy, I must apologize for the late arrival of your enrollment documents. Uh, and also for my delay in introducing myself. Okay, yeah. I am the director of Pokemon School, Naranja Academy. I'm just gonna call it Pokemon School because it's funnier. Not because I can't pronounce Naranja Academy, but because it's fun to say Pokemon School. You may call me Mr. Clavel, the director, and you came in person to help my daughter with her first day. Or what she should say is the director and you walked right into our mansion without knocking. You just opened the door and walked in and we don't even know you. Well, I am responsible for the entire academy, including any fa any failures on its part. So I failed already. <laughs> Damn it. And I really am in trouble. Turns out I'm in trouble, you guys. I'm in trouble. So here at last are the enrollment documents that should have already been delivered to you. Oh, y'all failed. Y'all, my mom is so fucking hot. Damn, my mom is gorgeous. My mom is so beautiful. She's so gorgeous. My dad is lucky. Where's my dad? Where is my dad, by the way? You're just like not allowed to have a dad in Pokemon. Is that it? Yeah. Goodness, you really needn't have... Since you've come all this way, can I at least offer you a cup of tea? She's gorgeous. I just want to be just like her, honestly. Ah, uh, no need to trouble yourself. Um, Dr. Clavel, just so you know, I do have a dad. He's at work right now, so my mom is not single, just so you know. Amanda, I've got a thing or two to discuss with the director here. Why don't you head back up to your room and get— <sighs> Sorry, this is giving me anxiety. They're going to talk about me. <laughs> They're, it's my worst fear to, for, that people are having a meeting about me, and here— these people are confirming to me that they're having a fucking meeting about me. I hate this. I'm sorry, but I just really hate this and I'm my chest is closing up. Why don't you head back up to your room and finish getting ready for school? You need your bag and your hat as well. Now, Mr. Clavel, you simply must join me for a cuppa this way. Well, how can I refuse such a kind offer? Yeah, my mom is so gorgeous. Did you see how she like turned? She's so beautiful. And I have to walk away because they're talking shit about me. I hate that. I can't believe my hot mom is talking shit about me with the fucking director of Pokemon school. Ugh. Oh, just look at you all ready for your big first day. Yes, the uniform of our storied academy suits you quite well indeed. Well, you know, I'm just wondering if I'm expelled. Oh gracious, how very careless of me. I had entirely forgotten that I have something else for you, Miss Amanda. Is it handcuffs because I'm arrested? Because I'm in trouble? A most important thing, but your living room is hardly the place for it. Would you care to follow me outside? Sure. Sure. Yep. I'll follow you outside to the police car that you're going to put me in because I'm in trouble. I wonder what this important thing might be. Let's follow the director out and see, shall we? Mom, don't act like you don't know. You guys were talking about me. My mom! is gorgeous. She's beautiful. She's like a fucking model. She's the most beautiful woman I've ever laid eyes on. I love you, mom. You're so gorgeous. If I could just look half as good as you. She's my hero. She's the most beautiful person I've ever known. I love her. But she does talk shit about me with the principal, unfortunately. There I am, the victim of the situation, as you can see. Right then, dear Pokemon, time to come out. Oh, I'm getting my starter already. Is that what they were talking about? My starter. I see him. Oh my god, there they are. My son, he's looking right up at me. You guys already know which one I'm picking. <laughs> Unrelated, but I always found it really weird that like up until the time you start school, you don't have a Pokemon yet. You're living in Pokemon world. You've been living in Pokemon world all these years, and you don't have a fucking Pokemon? Really? Sprigatito, the grass cat Pokemon, and a lovely grass Pokemon she is. She really is beautiful. Oh, she's so cute. Fue Coco, the fire crack Pokemon. <laughs> And Quaxley, the duck Pokemon. Yes, queen. Oh my God. I love it. Pomp. He says Pomp. Like, that's amazing. They're all very good company. Why? They usually even refuse to leave my side. <gasps> my baby, my son, he came to me first and he's looking right up at me like I'm his mommy. 
I do wish I could stay and see which one you'll choose, but I must be off to my next home visit. I'll be at the house just over there. Whose house is that? Damn. Take your time with your decision, then come find me once your mind is made up. Okay, why do you have to show me some mansion? Like, I'll be at the house right over there and it's like a nicer house than mine and it's like, okay. Cool, good to know that there are rich people that exist. These three are all lovely, but you need to choose just one, right? Not an easy task. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. I know exactly which one I'm going to pick. He's looking right up at me because I'm his mommy. <laughs> Why not take this opportunity to walk about with these little ones and get to know them? I'm sure they have lots to teach you. Oh, but before you go, I got you a little something to celebrate your big day. Aw, she gave me a cell phone. Thanks. My mom really is quite rich. I won't lie. Um, She's amazing. She's hot. She's rich. And she's kind. I mean, like, she's the perfect woman. Honestly, my dad is a lucky man. Head to the house. Um, so now I have to go to the rich person's house. Come on, babies. Come on, babies. Come on, can I pick him up? Can I just pick him up? He needs his mommy to pick him up. Come on, baby. Come on. Come with mommy. Oh my God, they're so cute. They're all so cute. They're all babies. They're all adorable. And every single one is valid. Every single one is a valid choice. I mean, how do you fucking not choose him? He's so sweet. He like needs his mother. Come on, babies. Come on, babies. I think I'm going too fast for them. They're just little babies. They have short little legs. Come on, babies. This is like such a gorgeous mansion. <gasps> Where's the babies? Where's my babies? Oh God, oh God, they're all fucking missing. Oh, okay, I see what they're doing. It's like, they're showing you like, this one's the grass Pokemon, as if you can't tell, because they're color-coded, quite literally. And then this one, of course, is mine, actually. So hands off. Who the hell is this? Who the hell is this? Oh my God. Hello, hi, hey, hello. You can actually have Fue Coco if you want. Wow, she's gorgeous. She's so gorgeous and she has green hair, like green bangs. She's the coolest, most gorgeous girl I've ever seen in my life. Is this my rival? Is this my rival? I don't wanna fight, I'm not, I'm not gonna fight with you. You're always, you're right. You're always gonna be right, okay? I don't wanna fight, we can be friends. Buenas, we haven't met, have we? I think just in my dreams, honestly. I must say I wasn't expecting to see you here quite so soon. Hang on, director, is this who I think it is? Oh, so you've heard of me. <laughs> Good things, I hope. I honestly don't want to fight with this girl. I don't want to be rivals. I just, I, I want to learn from you. I want to follow in your footsteps. I want to be just like you. I want to copy you, actually. So you're that kid who moved in up the road. Well, I'm not a kid, you know. I've been dying to find out more about you. That is so funny because I'm dying to find out more about you, too. <laughs> I'm the Mona. Normally I live in the school dorms, but home is here. I'm extremely, extremely fucking rich. My door is literally stained glass. That's how rich I am. I live in a mansion. I'm a, a, the heir to a multi-million dollar company. Want to be friends? Do I want to be friends? I never even, I didn't even do anything yet. Do I have to pay any, you anything? Do I want to be friends? Is this a prank? Is this a joke? Seriously, because like I really ha have had that happen before, like in middle school and stuff. I should have known that they didn't really want to be my friends, that they didn't really want to date me, but I fell for it hook, line, and sinker. And never again, Namona. Never again. I mean, yes, obviously I want to be friends. Yeah. However, if this is a prank, then I knew it all along, you know, and you're not going to get me, okay? And I also have telekinesis, by the way. So if you invite me to prom and shit, like just know that like you're not going to get away with it. But yeah, I want to be friends. Have you decided which of these Pokemon you would like to be your first partner? I decided that a long time ago. Haven't you heard me talking? Fue Coco, come to mommy. Please give me my son. Please give me my son. He has needed his mommy for so long, and it's wrong that you kept him from me. You chose Fue Coco. Would you like to give Fue Coco a nickname? Of course. I nickname all my Pokemon, and I'm going to name him Rex. Rex, my baby, because he's kind of like a dinosaur. He's like a little T-Rex baby boy. Oh, my baby, I love you so much. Yeah, this is my baby. There's just like, all of the starters are great, but there was just like no decision for me personally. And I think all of you knew that. Amanda, dot, dot, dot. <laughs> Namona, please don't do that. <laughs> I can't believe you actually chose Fue Coco. Dot, dot, dot. Again, with the dot, dot, dot. And, um... What's wrong with Fue Coco? I mean, like, way to make the perfect choice for you. You two make such a good combo. Yeah, see, like, what was the point of that? What was the point of getting me all worked up? I have social anxiety, Namona. So don't do that, please. But I love you so much. I just hope that you'll never do that again. Okay, so apparently, uh, Namona never got a starter, which I think is completely unacceptable. Such a misstep on every level. It's like, 
Pokemon school. Come on. They just keep failing all these failures. Um, it's just unacceptable. I mean, she said that she already had Pokemon that she was training, which is like cool. So she got to have Pokemon before she got a starter and I didn't, but it's fine. And so she's like, can I please have one? Can I have one of these? Which I just found funny. That was like the, like the gall of her to just be like, can I have a starter? Even though I've been in school for like a while now and I'm a champion actually. Can I just have like one of the extra starters? And I really thought she was going to go with Quaxley and I was like, okay with that. Cause she's a, again, a champion. Apparently she's like an expert. Then again, I'm thinking that like, not only, you know, obviously uh, Sprigatito is adorable and I can see why anybody would want to have one, but maybe she wanted to go a little easy on me cause she thinks I'm new at this. She thinks that this is my first rodeo. And so, yeah, I'm going to get to show her that it's not. We're going to have a battle and it's really great. And she seems to just be so, she just has a zest for life that I hope is contagious. It feels contagious. And I'm also going to kick her ass big time, but you know, this arena, nice. Oh, and the girl of my dreams right there. Don't worry, I see ya. Oh, okay, so he's telling her to go easy on me. Poor fucking Quaxley. Just like waddling along, poor guy. I trust you remember that Miss Amanda is wholly inexperienced. Yeah, yeah, a little bit. And I, it's embarrassing. It's really embarrassing. It's so embarrassing, Nimona. But I honestly, this is like such fucking motivation for me to like become the greatest Pokemon battler ever so that I can impress you. It's all about impressing you, honestly. It is all about impressing her all of it the whole game oh my god the whole journey is going to be all about impressing Nimona the whole thing yeah it really is like I know I'm gonna win because I have a fire type and that's a grass type I just know I'm gonna win because and I also just know what I'm doing but like I love this girl and I need to impress her so this needs to work out for me yeah yeah. You must have been studying up. Smart move. Fire is strong against grass. Yes, I know. Yeah, I do know that. Yeah, Nimona. Like, you said you knew what you were doing, but I guess you don't. But it's okay, because I do, girl. I do. I'll hold ya. It's okay. Oh my god, I love her. I love her. Wow, not bad, neighbor. Oh, she's like so perfect. You know, she's humble. She's humble. She's so humble. She's just amazing. She's the perfect, perfect, perfect person. Like, she's the best person who ever lived, honestly. Look at you winning your first battle ever. You got even more potential than I thought. You're going to be a strong trainer for sure. <sighs> All right, little one. It's time you and I were on our way. Omp. Poor Quaxley. He'll find a home. Don't worry. All y'all love him so much. So maybe I ought to make a little more time to work on my Pokedex along with all my battling. Oh, right. Speaking of Pokedexes, Amanda, you probably never caught a wild Pokemon, right? I mean, I have. Like, I want her to know about, like, my real history, my true history. Like, girl, I'm playing this Pokemon game, but if you knew, like, the expert that I really am, I think she would fall in love with me quicker. But at the same time, I do risk, like, freaking her out, you know? Because, like, oh, God, there's my mom. She's meeting my girlfriend. Now, you'll be staying in the school dorms, so I want you to promise me you'll eat proper meals. Here's a bit of spending money to start off with. I also packed a lunch for your first day. Oh, I love my mom. My mom is the best. She's amazing. Oh, and maybe you'd better take these two. Oh, potions. Thanks, mom. All right, this here is Poco Path. It's the path that leads you to adventure for you and me. Okay, it, it, yeah, adventure for you and me, then it's a, the path I want to take for sure. Out here, things are different than in town. You're going to see wild Pokemon out and about. They'll be on the path and in the grass and such. Yeah, cool. I've never done this before, so I have no idea what I'm doing. Hmm. Wow, I paused it for like two seconds and then I come back and like they're all fucking surrounding me. And I love that. So I'm just going to like, so what do I do again? Do I just, what do I do to like start a battle? Just like run up to it, I guess. Ugh. Tarantula. That's what your name is? Okay. That's Tarantula, you guys. He looks like he's already caught up in all his, like, shit. He's all wrapped up in his own webs. How fun. How funny. Time to bag you up, bitch. Yeah, so I'm just gonna bag up some of these Pokemon just to get my skills up, and then I'll go to the lighthouse. You know how it is. You know how it goes in the, in the beginning of these games, you know? Aw, it's a Hoppip. Oh my gosh. Hi, baby. I know you. I actually recognize you. Please don't one-shot this Hoppip. Yeah, I'm gonna get Rex to level 10 before I go to the lighthouse because that's who I am. I'm an overachiever. And you know what? I'm gonna stop nicknaming all these like low level Pokemon because I always do that. I, I nickname all the low, low, low level Pokemon and I don't end up 
evolving any of these ones. I always catch higher level Pokemon of the same species and I, that's who I evolve up. He's doing so well, I'm so proud of him. He's like already a badass. Look at what you did, look at what you did. You did that, baby. That counts as a one shot, honestly. Oh my God, come here, baby, come here. You're so cute, oh my God. Please don't one shot him. Pommy. Oh my god, he's so cute. Oh, he's so cute. Hi, baby. It has underdeveloped electrical sacs on its cheeks. These sacs can produce electricity if only Pommy rubs them furiously with the pads on its forepaws. Yes, I would like to give him a nickname. I'm going to name him. Honestly, I'm just going to name him Baby. Just Baby, because he's a baby. Little baby. Why am I getting all this fur from these Pokemon? Pokemon fur. Oh, there's another Scatterbug. Hell yeah, that's exactly what I wanted. Now, I know you're amazing. I know you're incredible, Rex, but try not to one-shot him, okay? Good boy. Oh no, not string shot. This is cute, this little animation of like books and stuff for the Pokedex, it's really cute. Oh my God, we're so, yes, level 10, bitch. Hell yeah, level 10 for this bitch. I'm really grinding. Wait, what, what's going on now? I'm trying to get to this lighthouse, like, hello? Hey, Amanda, you getting the hang of how to catch Pokemon, okay? Did you not see me? Let me see. So far you've caught... Ah! What? What? Oh, I thought that was her. Whoa, what was that? <sighs> Somebody's like in peril that needs me. I've never heard that kind of cry before. Could be some strong Pokemon or something. I say we find whatever made that cry. Let's take a look around, Amanda. Just be careful. There's kind of an unsafe cave not far from here. So let's steer clear. I just feel like it's going to be a stupid, dumb human, but okay. Did I find it already? Probably found it already, didn't I? Yep. <laughs> Because I'm amazing. Who's the stupid human being that needs our help? Who is it? It's like a human hanging on the edge of the cliff or something. What is it? What is this? What's going on here? Oh, oh, no, it's not a human. It's my lizard bike. Oh my God, get away from him. Please, please leave him alone. Leave him alone. He's my baby. That is literally my son. I was so wrong. I could not have been more wrong. That is my son. Am I falling off a cliff? Did I fall off a cliff? I fell off a fucking cliff and I'm fine. And I'm okay. I'm, I'm fine. I'm, and I'm I'm just okay and fine. Yep, yep. Okay. There goes the hound doors. I kind of wanted to catch them, but whatever. Why were they like fucking being mean to my son? My baby son. Hi, buddy. Hi, baby. Oh my gosh, what happened? My poor baby, my poor dragon baby. He's so fucking cute. The mysterious Pokemon seems to be too weak to move. Oh, I will nurse you back to help. Maybe you can give us something to help perk it up. Of course, my sandwich. My sandwich from my mommy. It's made with love, sweet baby. Here's a little sandwich for you. Oh my God, he's so fucking cute. I'm gonna die, I'm gonna drop dead. I'm gonna fucking die right here on the spot. A little sandwich for my baby, a sandwich for my boy, a sandwich for my son. A big sandwich, oh, good boy, good boy. That's my baby, oh, look at his big stupid dinosaur feet. Oh my God, my, my son, my baby son. My baby son is here for me. Yep, yep, we have a bond. We have a bond unlike any other. Mm -hmm. Do I get to name him? Please tell me I get to name him. I want to name him. He's like toothless. He's just like toothless. I feel like hiccup right now. This really is like my night fury moment where I'm like, I'm just like really the one. I'm no, please come back. My baby. That's my baby son. Please come here. Come on. Come on, baby son. He's my baby son. My baby son. Here. Here he is. Yep. My baby. My baby boy. Mommy's baby boy. Come on. Come on, mommy's baby boy. What are you doing? Oh, he's turning into like a bike or something. There's my lizard bike. Is he turning into a lizard bike? Oh my God, he's so beautiful. You're gorgeous and beautiful, baby. I love you so much. Wow, mom's sandwich really fucking did that. Damn, mom's sandwich, right? I know. Yeah, wait, come come to mommy, baby, son. Come on. We're, yeah, that's me, for real. I'm like, wait, that's. I thought I just gave birth to him. He's my baby son. What? All right, well, that was my baby son. I'm sure that we will meet again. And didn't my girlfriend tell me not to go in this cave? Probably, yeah, she, she probably did. But did she see me fall off the cliff? Because I'm gonna get so much attention. My baby son, I'm like following him. He's, he's walking like a baby. He's walking like my baby. My baby, 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 baby son. Come on, baby, where are we going? I'm following my baby, Amanda. 
She's like so freaking out because she loves me. I'm down here with the big legendary Pokemon. Don't worry. No, I'm just the chosen one. It's fine. He's actually, it, it turns out he's my baby son. I gave him a sandwich and now he's my son. He's going to be my bike. There you are, Amanda. You okay? You're not hurt, right? Oh, wow. She cares about me. She's so concerned. I am going to be a little dramatic. I'm managing. <laughs> Thank goodness. I was really worried. Oh, she was really worried. <laughs> if he'd gotten hurt because I said we should go looking for whatever made that cry. <laughs> no, never mind. <sighs> the drama. I love it. What? You would have never forgiven yourself? Really? Really? Okay. No, never mind that. Right now, we've got to focus on getting you back up here. You just got to find some way to climb out of there. If you can get close enough, I'll try pulling you up with one of my Pokemon's moves. Okay, I just am down here with my baby son. Hey, what's that Pokemon in front of you? It looks super strong. Kind of seems like it's waiting for you. Does it want you to follow it? Yep. Yes, he does because he's my baby son. Yep. Oh, good boy. Good boy. That's my good boy. That's mommy's good boy. You want another sandwich? My mommy will make you another sandwich. Oh my God. Uh, wait, is that a hound doom up there? Wasn't it hound doors that were giving him shit? That's a hound doom up there. I want the hound doom. Oh my God. I want all of these Pokemon. Let me just grab this really quick. And then I just want this. Oh my God. Young goods. I want the young goods, please. Don't one-shot him now, Rex. Be careful. I know you're so strong and amazing. We gotta bag him up. Should I name him Ricky Ticky Tabby? Probably, right? Ricky? I'll name him Ricky. Ricky. Because, like, you know Ricky Ticky Tabby, right? Which I always hated that. Even when I was little, I always hated that story. Ricky Ticky Tabby. Have you you've heard that story? It's like the mongoose, and he, like, fights cobras and shit. And he kills, he kills, like, the one of the, um cobras and then the mommy cobra like wants to kill him back or something right and I always just felt so bad for the cobras because I was like they're so beautiful and like she's trying to protect her babies from Ricky Tiki Tavi or something but he's trying to protect the family from the cobras it was like a really dramatic like story honestly but like she's trying to protect her babies and shit and like he killed didn't isn't it like he killed the husband cobra and then the mommy cobra is like I'm gonna fucking kill you back and the whole family like the whole the people or something because she wanted to like overtake their house or something wasn't it like that or maybe, maybe I gotta like look it up again I just I had a book of Ricky Ticky Tabby I just remember feeling really bad for the Cobras honestly but I also I, I did understand that Ricky was doing like his job as a mongoose and I do think it's quite amazing that mongooses are so brave and that they fight Cobras I think that's amazing and this is my son and he's just like leading me through this cave he's so cute and I do have to get this diglet real quick baby but I'll be right back Diglet, dig, diglet, dig, trio, trio, trio. Diglet, dig, diglet, dig, trio, trio, trio. Remember that? Wait, fuck, you one shot at that diglet. Damn it. Diglet dirt. I got two diglet dirt. Where's an, I need another diglet. Damn it. Diglet, dig, diglet, dig, trio, trio, trio. Wait, oh my God, look at all these hound doors. Damn, I want at least one. Can you just give me at least one of these hound doors? I better get at least one hound door, but this is a whole damn pack. And my baby son is going to fuck y'all up. Wait, but baby son, can I just have one of the hound doors, please? Because I like the I like hound doors. Damn, she said like something about, hey, heads up, there's a lot of rowdy hound doors in this cave. Okay, well, I would love one, at least one rowdy hound door. I really like hound doors and hound dooms, and I would love one. But the fact that they have been bullying my baby son is a little bit upsetting. Amanda, look out, something's coming. What? What is it? What could it possibly be? Because my baby son is going to protect me. Behind you. It's behind you. It's a hound doom. And he's mine. Come on, baby. Come on, honey. Come here, baby. Oh, hi, baby. Oh. Hi, baby boy. Your mommy's? Are you mommy's baby? Yeah, that's mommy's baby. Oh, my God. He's level 40. He's going to fucking whoop my ass. Damn it. Damn it. No. No, 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 no. He's going to crunch my son. He's going to crunch my son. I don't fucking think so. He's going to crunch my son like King Tut. Really? Damn. Don't crunch my son. And don't crunch my other son either. These are both my sons, and you better not crunch a single one. Oh, my God, my baby son. Well, I do want to I, I wanna catch that hound doom, just to let you know. Baby son. All these hound doors. Here they come. Here they come. And my son, my dragon son, he's going to fuck them all up, obviously. But he's so cute. He's adorable. Should we just like bail? Should we get out of here? I just want to take one puppy with me. I want to take one of these puppies. Can I just grab a puppy real quick? Do you mind if I grab one of these puppies? I did want to take one puppy, but um, 
I didn't get to, but it's fine. It's honestly just fine. My son, he like protected me. I love him. I love it when like monsters love me. It's one of my favorite parts of life. But yeah, this is my son, my baby. Way to go, for a second, I thought you were both goners, Nimona. Now you're getting to know me. I'm the chosen one, my girl. Yeah, yeah, this happens quite a lot. This will continue to happen as you know me. <gasps> Wait, oh my God, what's wrong, baby? No, my baby. No, maybe it used up all its power. What is this Pokemon anyway? It kind of looks like a Cyclozar, but I've never seen one quite like this before. And now it looks so different from a minute ago. Do you think it's okay? I don't know. That's my baby. You can't tell it. You can't tell it either, huh, Amanda? Well, all that aside, I'm seriously glad to have you back up here in one piece. You know, that battle down there was really something. You and this fella look perfectly in sync, facing down that hound doom. Let's just get to the lighthouse. That'll be a good spot to relax. Sure, yeah, yeah, sure. But this is like my baby and I wanna know if he's okay. Hi, sweetie. Oh, hi, honey. Hi, baby. Hi, baby boy. Hi, honey. Are you gonna follow mommy? Oh my God, he's so fucking cute. He's like toothless. Is he gonna come with me? I don't wanna leave him. I mean like, I'll go to the lighthouse, sure, but like, I don't wanna leave my baby. That's like my baby up there. Like, I, I feel like I gave birth to him. He's really my baby. Who the hell is this, Volo? Who the hell is this? I don't like wanna deal with this. Who's this? Who could this be? Who is this? Why that little? Who the hell is this? What are you doing out here? Hey, this is my son. What are you doing out here? I'm not talking to you two. You can shove off. Hey, fuck you. I'm about to fucking roll this guy down a hill. I swear to God, I'll fucking kill you. Wait, I know you. Aren't you Arvin? Are you the son of that Pokemon researcher, Professor Sa- I'll kill Arvin. I will fucking kill you. Doesn't matter who my mom is. Yeah, well, my mom's hotter than your mom. I can assure you of that. But I will fucking kill you, Arvin. The real issue here is what in the world this Pokemon is doing out here. You know what, Arvin? It's none of your fucking business. I gave birth to this Pokemon, okay? I gave him my mom's sandwich. And as a result, he is my son. So fuck off. Why don't you shove off? And what is with this form it's in? See, we heard this strange cry and we tried to investigate, but Amanda fell off a cliff. Yeah, I fell off a cliff. I don't like this f motherfucker. I really, honestly, this is, I already hate him more than anyone I've ever like known in my life, honestly, because like I am so emotionally attached to that Pokemon behind him. And he, the fact that he's like, he's like staking a claim over it. I really feel like this is like, this is like Airbud. You remember how like the little boy and Airbud, like they, they form a huge relationship. And then all of a sudden this like guy is like, that's my dog. And I'm like, what? That's your dog? No, that's his dog. Fuck you. No, you don't get to do that. Like, I hate when shit like this happens. Karadon isn't the sort of Pokemon that any old trainer can hope to command. It's special. No, yeah, I know he's special. He's my son, so I do know that he's special. You think you're up to ordering Karadon around? Then how about I test your worthiness? Fucking go for it, dude. Absolutely. Hell yeah. Heh. <laughs> Well, look at you, quite the little go-getter. I fucking hate this guy. I really do. Guess what, bitch? I'm gonna fuck you up. I'm gonna fuck you all up. I'm gonna torch this shit. These memories are leaving a bad taste in my mouth and I want it gone. Fuck you in your side bank. Bye, bitch. Bye, bitch. Goodbye, bitch. Yep, goodbye. And look at my baby son. He's watching the battle and he's like cheering me on. I love you, sweetie. I'm gonna be such a, such a better owner for you. I really am. Yeah, oh my God, you only have one Pokemon? I was expecting so much more from you. Are you kidding me? You're really surprised. You're surprised that your level five Squirvit didn't do it. You really are. Amazing. He's amazing. It's amazing. It's amazing the people out here in, on these dirty streets that like really honestly think, I guess I wasn't ever gonna stand a chance using some Pokemon I'd only just caught. Yeah, why would you do that? That's really puzzling, Arvin. That's really fucking puzzling. But if you really think you can take Karadon off my hands for me, you'll need this. It's the Pokeball that Brute's been kept in. That Brute? That Brute is my baby. A Pokeball that can hold the mysterious Pokemon Karadon. A boy named Arvin gave it to you. Blech. All right, well, I'm gonna go grind and get to the school, I guess. You know me. Wow, oh my God, it's a Palladian Whooper. Oh my God. Hi, baby. Hi. I have been waiting for this moment for so long. Is that how you say it? Palladian? Palladian? Is that how you say it? I don't... Listen, 
We're all learning right now, okay? So forgive any mistakes that I make. This is a new area for all of us. All I know is that this is the newest whooper, that we have the newest form of a whooper. Oh my God, I love this mud boy. Come on, buddy, into the Pokeball. Let's go. Oh my God, Fido, you're so cute, baby. I don't wanna hurt you, but alas, I have to. I must capture you. You have to be my puppy dog. I got so many kids today, I love it. Just what I wanted. Oh, we only got six Pokeballs left. I really burned through all those, huh? It's almost as if I'm grinding. That's what I do. Sometimes I grind a little too hard though, and then everything's like way too easy. I don't know, I just, one time, I think I was playing Let's Go Eevee and Gary kept beating me with the Executor. And I was so embarrassed by that. Like I never lose Pokemon battles ever. I don't think I've, I've been losing Pokemon battles since like, you know how it is. Like when you're like a long time Pokemon player, you just don't fucking lose. And it like just was like really tough for me. So I swore on that day that I would never let it happen again. And now I think I grind a little too hard. What am I gonna name this puppy dog? This adorable little puppy dog. What am I gonna name her? Uh, I'm gonna name her Tony Pizza. Tony Pizza. I don't, I can't believe I named the spider webs. I just wasn't thinking. I was like, webs. <laughs> oh my God. They're all behind me, like waiting, like waiting for their turn to like fucking try to kick my ass to attempt to make a, a single attempt. Is there any other, well, here, here's the thing. I'm going to look and see if there's any other Pokemon that I don't have yet, that I haven't got captured yet. I got Ralts already. I think I got them all. All the ones that are around here that you can get. I think I did get them all. Did I already kick your ass, little boy? Yeah, I did. Here's the secret. Pokemon centers will heal all your Pokemon for free. Do not cite the deep magic to me, witch. I was there when it was written. This is Los Platos. We're always happy to serve up a helping of hospitality to anyone passing by. Thank you. Gulk, gulk. Oh, he's like drinking a... He's like, this child is chugging a coffee. Whose kid is this? Where'd you get the coffee, little boy? Somebody's kid is just chugging fucking cappuccinos over here. Hey, why do you get a Pelipper and I don't? Look at your big Pelipper. Wow, you caught this guy? You trained him up? Good for you, kid. You're a prodigy. You're a prodigy child. Look at your Pelipper. Hello, little guy. Are you just like loose? You're feral in the, in the city? Okay. Can I go into people's houses? I can't go into random people's houses in this game? A travesty. Wow, this is fun. It's a very interactive town. Like everybody's like moving. Everybody's out and about doing their own thing. That's fun. My followers are gonna love this. Girl, yes they are. I go to school every day and learn lots and lots about Pokemon and things. Yeah, I'm in Pokemon school too, if you didn't notice my outfit. Like, did you already know that every Pokemon can remember up to... Did I know that? Are you asking me if I knew that when I am also in Pokemon school? <laughs> this bitch has no idea how, who she just disrespected. I've got two whole Pokemon. Am I cool or what? Like, as opposed to a one and a half Pokemon? Very cool. Yeah, you know, I'm just going to be going through, I think and like whooping ass. You know, there's not much to be said for that. So I might just speed it up so that I can get to Pokemon school. Otherwise this video will be five hours long, you know? All right, I think I've whooped enough ass for one day and I'm ready to start my Pokemon school career. Did you battle some trainers on the hill? I bet your Pokemon are getting stronger. Oh, Nimona, they are, don't worry. And your Sprigatito is still only level eight. Oh, Rex is level 15, whoops. I'm, I'm just gonna have to incinerate ya, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry to you and your sweet kitten. Really am. I feel bad. I do. You knew I was going to send out a fire Pokemon first, so that's on you, girl. Battling you is a blast. Think I better pull out my ace in the hole. Oh, you got an ace in the hole, do ya? What's this now? What the hell is she? What are you doing? Huh? What are you doing? What the hell is this? What is this? What is this? Terrestrializing is always a solid strategy. Okay, well, I didn't, I don't know what terrestrializing is, but I guess I'll learn it at Poke Pokemon school. So that's good. Good thing I'm going to Pokemon school, for sure. Amazing, look at you taking on a terrestrialized opponent and winning, no problem. Yeah, and I didn't even know what that was, so come to think of it, you can't terrestrialize your Pokemon yet, huh? Don't worry, I'll get you taken care of. I wanna go to Pokemon school, I'm so ready. I also wanna take this stupid fucking hat off. I hate my hat, I hate my hat. Now Mesa Goza's waiting just past this gate. 
At last, the city where our school is. There's a ton of hills and stairs and stuff in the city, so I'm gonna take a quick breather and then catch up with you soon. Wait, so this is this Pokemon school? Where's the Pokemon school? Are we going to Pokemon school or is this a city? What is this? Where's Pokemon school? Does anybody know where the Pokemon school is? I just wanna start Pokemon school, honestly, so I can grind. Is this the campus? Is this the Pokemon school campus? It's beautiful. It's really cool and beautiful and awesome and cool. Okay, I get it. I get it. That was kind of a long cutscene, not gonna lie. This is Mesagoza, the biggest city in Paldia. It's been a big trade hub since a long time ago. Lots of folks come here to learn about advances in technology and all kinds of other stuff. There's a hair salon where you can change your look, plus places with tasty food and fixings. Hell yeah, I want this hat off immediately. I just really hate it. What do you want to see first, Amanda? The hair salon. Oh, you're a fashionista, are you? Or maybe you just want a practical dude that won't get in your eyes when you're battling. Quite the opposite, actually. First, I just don't really like ha not having long hair. It's just a me thing. You know how some people, like, it's just like a me thing. I like to be able to express myself by having long hair. <laughs> I don't know, you know? It's just my thing. Oh, and speaking of battling, I want to be sure you'll be able to terrestrialize your Pokemon too, Amanda. There's a few things that got to get done for that to happen, but I'll take care of them. You're the best. You are the best. I love her so much. Once you've seen your fellow, you can meet up again in front of the school. Later then, get pumped for some terrestrializing. Yeah, cool. Get me out of this fucking hat. Like, see, I just can't stand it any longer, I think. I think I need it off immediately. Hi. Look at you and your Lego. You and your pet Lego. Eee, splash and wash them good. Make sure to wash your Pokemon. <laughs> I gotta wash my Pokemon where? How do I get out of this hat? There's so much to see. These two little kids, where are your parents? Where are your fucking guardians? Why am I just staring at this guy? Stop, stop, I thought I was talking to him. Okay, I could go talk to everybody, but I don't have time to do that. Are they fighting? Are y'all fighting? Is this guy okay? Your posture, buddy. You got scoliosis, me too. I don't like wearing these big stupid shorts. Where's the skirt? Pokemon are just too darn cute. So nice. I agree, ladies. I fucking agree. <laughs> Ew, dude, what the fuck are you doing? That nice lady at the Pokemon Center always gives me little tips when my Pokemon get healed. Is it just me? Do you think she likes me? Ew! <laughs> Ew! Incinerate! Oh, he's like a fucking incel. Oh, everything about him. Oh, God. Oh, my God. I hate this motherfucker. His pants. His fucking pants, dude. Ew. I, no, she does not like you. She doesn't even notice you, dude. Fuck off. Oh, fuck you, dude. I hate men like that. Ew. Men really do think if you fucking are nice to them, then you're obsessed with them. Dude, fuck men. Where is the fucking hair salon, dude? Hey, little guy. Hi, your Pokemon is so cute. Are you guys on a date? You guys make a lovely couple. It's nice when like, people bring a Pokemon on their date, honestly. That's really nice. Ugh, men. Ugh, men. The men here, dude, they are really, ugh. Yeah, they're leaving a lot to be desired. I can't believe there's an incel in the corner. Look at these two, these two lovers. They didn't have it. Let's check the next shop. Got a student from the Pokemon school. Hi. Better do a bit more of you. Oh, she just failed a test. I'm not gonna get in her face. Where the fuck is the fucking salon? My son told me that he joined some group called Team Star. Oh God, is this like, <laughs> is this the rival group? Oh my God, your son is in a cult. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Your son is in a cult, ma'am. I have no idea what kind of sports team that is, but I'm sure it's very fun. I'm sure he's committing crimes, lady. You should probably like keep an eye on your kid. Where's the tights that um, Nimona has? Because I just want to copy her. So, you know, if like this is all I have to really stand out with, then so be it. I don't know what LPR, I probably really need it, but I'm fucking, <laughs> I'm irresponsibly spending on these shoes. <laughs> but I'm irresponsibly spending on these shoes instead. Where is the hair salon? I can't take it any longer. I can't, I can't take this hat. I'm, I hate it. Please help me. I'm gonna just spend all my money. Yeah, I wanna look good on my first day of school. Is that, is that a crime? I like these gloves, they're cute. They remind me of like cool sports person gloves, you know? You know when you like, have to wear gloves for like a sport? I always thought that that was cool. I always romanticize that a little. Oh, okay, here's Team Star. Wow, this wasn't what I was expecting at all. I guess they're just uh, like a hugely toned down from fucking Team Yell and Team Skull, you know? Okay, Grunt A is like, don't you get it? If you join Team Star, you can shine as bright as anybody. Look, we've got a quota we're supposed to fill for new members, so just sign up already. Um, I'd rather not. Hey, 
Are these two fucking punks bothering you? If you're here to sign up, we'll get to you next. We've nearly got this one in the bag. We're Team Star, kid. We burn so bright it hurts to look at us. But you knew that, right? <laughs> Why are they always so fucking cheesy? No. No, 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 I, I disagree. I want her shorts. Why, do, why does she get to wear cool, like, short shorts? Hey, we can't just let something like this slide. So we have no choice but to battle. She's really pretty, actually. I think I like her. You are challenged by Team Star Grunt. <laughs> that's right, that's right. How come I'm the one seeing stars? Mmm, too bad, so sad. Oh my god, he's already a back. Whoops. <laughs> You see what I mean? I always go way too hard in the beginning. Fuck, I haven't even gotten to Pokemon school yet. <laughs> Whoops. Okay, there goes Rex, I guess. <laughs> yes, uh, honey. Oh my god, he looks like the Heat Miser from fucking Year Without a Santa Claus. Crocolivore. Yay, I really can't believe myself. I just, <laughs> like my fucking Pokemon just evolved in front of all these nerds. Ugh, why is a nobody like you so good at battling anyway? That's just not right. What do you mean a nobody? My Pokemon just fucking evolved in front of all your eyes. I bet that's the first time you've ever even seen that take place. Nimona, did you see that my Pokemon evolved? Whoops, right? Ooh. <laughs> It's kind of embarrassing, huh? Oh, it says student council dweeb. She's gonna report us if we don't book it. Are you calling her a dweeb? Do you see her? You think she's a dweeb, really? If this is the dweeb, I really honestly would fucking hate to see the popular kids. As head of the student council, stopping this type of nonsense would normally be my job. This is also a perfect chance for you to try my amazing and ultra rare gift for you. What is it? Is it a thing that, oh yeah, cool, a Terra Orb. I don't know what that is, but okay. Wait, what? You want this kid to practice wailing on us with her Terra Pokemon? Is that it? Got a problem? You want to battle me instead? <laughs> Never mind, I'll take my chances with the new kid. You're gonna fucking wish you didn't say that. You're gonna be eating those words, my friend. You truly, truly are. Still have not found the hair salon, by the way, but whatever. Aww, I can't believe Rex has already evolved. That's like kind of low-key embarrassing. I'm just like so fucking, like such an overachiever. Oops, I might not even get to fucking terrestrialize. Whoops. Do you by any chance have another Pokemon? I thought, I don't know. I don't know what I thought, actually. <laughs> I just kind of like forgot. I forgot that everybody sucks except for me. I'm sorry. Sorry. I uh, See what I mean though? I always fucking do this. Hey, Samantha, you didn't even have to bother terrestrializing your Pokemon. Yeah, it was an accident. I'll do it next time, I swear. I swear to God, I'll do it next time. I'm sorry. Like I thought it was gonna be a longer battle than that. So yeah, uh, Team Star is basically a group of students that like to kick up trouble. I noticed, girl. Um, excuse me. Hey, are you okay? I, uh, I just, well, thanks. You're welcome. So yeah, um, see you around. Okay, bye. I like your Eevee backpack. Where'd you get it? Aw, oh, lucky you, Amanda. Already becoming a big hero around campus. That's me. That's who I am, yeah. I don't think I've seen that girl around. Maybe she's a new transfer like you. That Eevee back though? Love that fluff. Me too. Anyway, it seems like the trouble's died down, so we better book it to school. Get ready to climb the worst staircase in the world. Wait, I wanted to get my hair done. I did never found the fucking salon. I'm not going. I'm not going yet. I am just not showing up to my first day of school with a stupid fucking hat on. I'm just not doing it, so... I'll be, I'll catch up with you, Nimona. Well, I found the hair salon and I got what I wanted, just like I always do. And now I'm going to head to Pokemon school with my Crocolore that I have now because he evolved. Wish me luck. All right, so here we are at Pokemon school. Obviously, Nimona is here to be like my friend that I know, and that is invaluable. Honestly, I can't do anything by myself. It's just nice to have somebody to sit with at lunch and during classes and stuff. I gotta get like acquainted and we gotta like meet all my teachers and just like learn how it works and stuff and explore. And I'm sure I'm gonna do all that. But like looking around and stuff, I just kind of can't help but notice that um, like why the fuck would anybody need to play Hogwarts Legacy when this game exists? Like not only is it like not transphobic, but it's also better you know like pokemon school this is like pokemon school so there's like all these books and like look at the lady over there like she looks like she a witch <laughs> you know what i mean like and she has a side dog you know and then we still have like a gay headmaster who is better and a better person i think i mean he did walk into my house which was questionable but um he just seems like slightly better so we're here in class i don't know why i'm not sitting next to nimona but it's fine I'm, it must be like assigned seats or something or maybe that's like her other best friend like her even more best friend than me. It's fine. I'm just like sitting. Where am I sitting? Where even am I? Am I seated yet? I don't even think I am seated yet, actually. 
And we have here uh, Mr. Jack. Jack. Mr. Jacques, or is it Mr. Jack? The C and the Q are throwing me off quite a bit. Why am I starting in the middle of the year? I thought like we were all starting together. I thought it was like the new school year, but I guess it's really not because I'm like really just coming in halfway through the year or something. I don't know. Yeah, kind of sucks a little. It's not usually my style, but I guess like, I don't know. Oh God, he's, uh, can I trouble you for a few words? Yeah, you could actually. That's a huge, huge trouble for me. But yeah, right, I'm Amanda, but hi. Yo, this guy's fucking style. Like, okay, Julie Fox. Anyway, uh, surprisingly, this is our biology teacher, like as, as if I couldn't tell. Anyway, now I have to go explore. Apparently, Nimona got called to the teacher's lounge, to the staff room. That seems like it's, I don't know, it's just like, do they do that often? Do they call students down to the teacher's lounge? She's like one of those students that's like friends with the teachers. You know what I mean? And she's like, she like goes and talks to them and stuff. And she's like just a good kid. And she's like the student council bitch. So, so they like, they treat her like better than everybody else. And they don't even try to hide it. And I love that for her, honestly. So here I am in the cafeteria. Um, I didn't realize that the school was for like toddlers too. Like, and we're all just like mixed together. That's interesting to me. Like these little babies, they're like little tiny four-year-olds and they're also here and there's like no sh like guardian. There's no like little teacher with them and they have a Pokemon out and I love that. Honestly, maybe the Pokemon's a teacher. Hello, hi. Yeah, I'll get a, a sandwich and it looks like the only thing that you have that's vegan is a pickle sandwich. Let me just tell you that that's perfect because I fucking love pickles and I actually love pickle sandwiches. I put like potato chips on them sometimes. It looks like it's got some like veganaise on it. I'll do like a pickle sandwich all day. I'll do like pickles, lettuce, spinach, like um, sub dressing, spicy mustard, like some like fucking, what's that shit called? Like the, you know, just like that like really zesty fucking mustard and then i'll put some like potato chips on it oh well 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 if it isn't my fucking sworn enemy you remember me right <laughs> no i don't think we've met yeah i remember you arvin no actually arvin the only reason i do remember you is because you're um on my hit list actually i'm here for you yeah any last words was he being like nice all of a sudden dude are you a cop why do you have that vest on yeah exactly that's my little know-it-all buddy got a mind like a steel trap don't do that arvin <laughs> Don't do that. Don't be cute. All right. I'm just going to need to summarize this conversation because like the footage for some reason got really weird and I have to just like include stills of the conversation. Um, but I'm just going to summarize it really quick. Basically, I thought he was going to ask for his dragon back, even though he's my dragon, but he didn't even bring the dragon up, which is like, okay. And then he was just saying that he needs help finding like, I don't know if it's like a weed or something. It sounds like it's weed, but I don't... <laughs> I'm not sure if that's what they would put in a Pokemon game. It's like Herba Mystica. Doesn't that sound like a brand of weed or whatever it's called? I don't know anything about weed. But he's like, oh yeah, it's like really powerful. And apparently it's like healthy for Pokemon. It like helps heal them or something. Because apparently he's like a botany student. I don't know. Um, and those people scare me because like botany is really hard and just like plants are really hard to like learn about. Um, he seems to know a lot about plants and he's like very passionate about plants and he wants my help because he has no friends. I um, was like, no, go fuck yourself. But then he like paid me for my time. He gave me like a stardust. He's like, thanks for hearing me out and listening to me. Um, and he was just like a lot nicer this time, which was like annoying to me, honestly. Um, but I'm gonna let him live just because I know I have to. And I also know that like I have to do this like thing because, oh, like we're not just going to get like a plant. Apparently they're guarded by like Titan Pokemon, which I'm assuming are kind of like alpha Pokemon or something. I don't really know. I mean, yeah, he was nicer to me or whatever, but I'm definitely still wary of him because he was like the worst person I had ever met when I first met him. But also there's the added element of him being this guy who is just coming up to me with fucking Pokemon history. And he's got like this interest in the subject. And he comes up to me like, mama, let's research. And he's like, got his little fucking books and his little facts and shit. And the last time I trusted someone who liked uh, Pokemon history and did research on subjects <laughs> and wanted my help with a little task, he broke my heart. Uh, by, and he tried to kill me too, also. He also tried to kill me. It was Volo, shout out to Volo. So there's a lot of trepidation here, I would say, with Arvin. I still don't really know what he's doing. I'm um, just hoping he's trying to bag some weed. Honestly, I don't know. I really don't know what this is. So I guess we'll find out. <laughs> and I also do feel like he's weaponizing his side bang just a little because he's like making like sad faces and shit, but his like it 
covers one eye and that's, I don't know, that can't be on accident. Arvin, I know what you are. 